Hey guys, Phantom Fox here, and today I'm going to be jumping back into the Silent Age. Now, last time I left off, we were on, uh, we just finished up Chapter 3. Now we're going to jump into Chapter 4, which is called The Entry. In pursuit of the time traveler, Joe's finally managed to get to the hospital. Gaining entry without being caught, however, is another matter entirely. Joe must use every ounce of his wit this time. Which I was not very witful last time, so let's see what happens. There was a hanging peg, which made no sense to me for by the hospital. Oh, hey, the door opened. No, okay. We're just gonna walk through the door. And hopefully not get caught. Turpentine. Corrosive and flammable. This should come in handy. Probably shouldn't run off with the whole bottle though. The panel most is gone to alert the officer. Can of paint. It's a can of paint. I can feel the draft from the sewer tunnel below. How about we quickly get out of the way here? Locked container. It's locked. If we jump into the holy shit, dead body. If there's a lighter wedge between his ribs, he won't be needing it anymore. I see three dead people. I fell through an apartment building, clean windows in 65. I knocked over a bee's nest and held down the drain pipe for 35 minutes before the fire department showed up. They removed 137 singers of the hospital, said I was lucky to be alive, didn't feel so lucky to me, I've been allergic ever since. I want to walk back over to the dead body, but okay. So apparently we're not walking back over to the dead body to finish what it said. Then hit it. Try to look around and see if maybe I'm missing something. Maybe he has something else besides a lighter. I can feel the draft from the sort of time. That's helpful. Can of paint. Paint's dried up. Not surprised. What's this? Completely overgrown with trees and bushes. That's helpful. I don't want to walk to the hornet's nest. I want to walk to the door. Bees are afraid of fire, right? Something to set fire to. So, go back to the present to find something to break that open. Before the freaking cop comes out and sees me. Bottle of turpentine. Must be a way of getting it without anyone noticing it's gone. There's got to be something back further. That I missed. Maybe there's something over here I'm not noticing. Trash can. There's gotta be something in the trash can. There's a broom head. For a second there, I got all excited by the thought of renewing my old broom without filling out acquisition forms. Nothing but trash. Poor dude. This should be able to bust open that lock. Wait a second. Make sure there's not anything else here that I may or may not need. Meat hook? Meat hook! Somewhat scary looking meat hook. Nothing 
over here. Broken plate. There's something round underneath the dirt. It's totally covered with dust and grime. Why don't we use the broom head? There's a manhole here. There's no way to get my hands around the cover. There are holes in it, but not big enough for my fingers. Use the meat hole. Look at it. Holy cow. I didn't even need to go through that door. Not yet, anyways. Pick up the bar. That'll probably break it. Lose the loose learn from the ladder. I'm taking it with me. If anything survived this world, I'll be hungry by now. I need something to defend. It'll be hungry by now, and I'll need something to defend myself with. Rest of your iron bars. Even if I somehow made it through, there's like two ton of grinder and rubber in the way. Most of the wall and some of the ceiling has been dislodged. I won't be getting anywhere in that direction. That metal rod might come in handy, though. To pick up the metal rod. No. Button. It's probably been years since this worked. Wait a second. I should be able to use a button while I'm down here. Just because I'm underground doesn't mean that... Jesus Christ. Oh, two metal things. Feels like metal. Walk back to the ladder. That's where the manhole cover is now open when you're down there because it's only open in the future. Past. Whatever this is. Because I have no idea what's going on here in the destroyed part of the world. Turpentine, which we still can't get. Gotta walk fast, gotta walk fast, gotta walk fast. Now we can walk to the locked container, use the bar, whack it. It's a bone saw. That's not helpful, but okay. Um, there's a police officer right there. Either I'll have to come up with the one plus explanation. Or one so weird he'll let me finish to see where it goes. I'm not counting on either. That was worth a shot. So why did it give me a bone saw? What was the purpose of a bone saw? Trash can, still nothing in it. Go back to the past. Future. The electric lock must have stopped working years ago. Walk to the manhole. Maybe there's something down here I can use the bone saw on. The sewer's blocked by rubble on the other side of the bars. Okay, um, you refuse to take the metal rod though. Oh, I guess walk through the door and go back into that twisted future. Probably could, but who knows what's down there if I jump in it could end up being carried out to sea by the sewage undercurrent or eaten by a toilet alligator. <laughs> I saw that in a PBS special once. Oh my god. Use it on him maybe? Bones all on the bones. No. 
Why did you give me a bone saw with no usage? I'm guessing there's about a thousand tenants in there that might strongly oppose the sudden eviction. And by oppose, I mean sting me to a bloated pulp. I can of paint. Wait a second. What if I... No. Don't cut a hole in the freaking paint so you can get it the turpentine. Fine. There's got to be a better use for this saw. I don't know what it is. There's a metal rod down in the alley. That's about all I know. Down the alley, down the manhole. That's about all I know. So. I wouldn't know how. Use the bone saw with the iron bars. Use it on the switch. No reason to cut the wire since there's no power. I don't understand. Ooh, wait a second. Bones on the door. Just walk right through the gate back in 1972. Bone saw on this. No. Okay. So, what do I do here? I need to use the lighter on the turpentine. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Something I can't see that I am missing. That metal rod rank to pick up the metal rod. What is rubble? But it somehow just doesn't. You know what? Piss off, Joe. Get your ass back upstairs and piss off. Okay. So, Joe, I just set the turpentine on fire. I don't know what to do here. Use the lighter with the turpentine. Just full bottle. Let's full ass this. No. Just lighter with the can of paint. It's water based. I'll be wasting my time. Spoon saw with the can of paint. I prefer to use the soft sawing. It's locked. Maybe I can use the bone saw with the lock. That it's locked. Thank you. My only other thought process here would be use the bone saw with the overgrown area. My physique isn't exactly that of a lumberjack. I'd be hacking for hours and I'd be likely to get. There's nobody left alive, but okay. That's fantastic. You saw at the drain. No alligators. What the hell am I supposed to use the bone saw with? I don't understand. Like, I am so confused right now. I might have to, like, come back. I might have to cut a lot of this out. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I 
gates already? I know the gates already open. There's got to be something this way. from that is a slate hand of fresh meat and cleaning supplies. Use it with that. Not sure that'll work. Helpful. Fucking helpful. Which shop window? I can't get it to work. Do I have to climb back through here? Later with the butcher shop window. Can't use the lighter here. You're supposed to be a new age MacGyver. What the fuck? What am I missing? I'm seriously gonna have to cut out so much. Beat the bones out. Why don't I use it with the ladder? Bones out with. <sighs> okay, I am so super mad at myself. I feel really, really, really freaking stupid. Yeah, would have been great to know about 10 minutes ago. Okay. So, I had to look up a walkthrough. Man, I bet I could cut through a car with this saw. Yeah, bullshit. Aw, oh, shit, it broke. I had to look up a walkthrough to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do with the bone saw, so... I apologize. I had no clue. I wasn't even sure what to do anymore. I don't even know you could turn on the light. The syringe paramedics must have dropped it down the drain. Oh, I can get the turpy tie with that. Now I can set fire to that bee's nest. Oh, that's right. It's blocked. Back in time I go. Forward in time I go. Man, that sucked. Okay, anyways, back to what we were doing here. Syringe on the turpentine. Dum -da -dum. Nothing's just going on here. There, syringe is full of turpentine now. Use a syringe of turpentine on that. I can't. You syringe with the letter? No? Okay. What am I gonna do? Okay, MacGyver, time to get inventive here. I got this. Wait, syringe with dried up paint. Must be some other way I can use a strip of time. Syringe with white can of paint? Must be some other way I can use a turpentine. What can I set on fire besides a bee's nest? Kinda figured. 
wrench with the open door. No, I'm not going to drive an armed police officer with a syringe full of turpentine. <laughs> okay. Good, this guy still has a little bit of common sense left in him. But, what do I do here? I have a syringe full of turpentine. And a lighter. The trash. Okay, so that's it for the present. Let's go back into the past again. Walk into the manhole. Maybe there's something once I get back to the present and I walk through the manhole. Walk through the passage and then go into the past. What is this? Rubble. Bunch of wooden beams must have been left by a hobo who never finished his fort. Pile of building materials, mostly wood. Turpentine. The wood is so picking in turpentine now. The man, the sm stuff smells heavy. Oh, my sleeve almost caught fire. That thing's completely off the hook. I should have used way less turpentine the next time I start a sewer fire. Okay, so that sewer fire should be right underneath where the bees are. Glad I did that. Because now I should be able to get to the bees. Which, honestly, don't kill bees. Killing bees is a bad thing. I think I've actually said that in a previous video, but don't kill bees. Like, seriously, killing them is a bad thing. I think we just smoked out all of them, so. Walk to hospital main entrance. It's open. Yes. Got it. Alright. So, that is the end of that incredibly long chapter. I do apologize about all that silence slash cut out that I'm going to do because I'm not sure how to edit that part out yet. So, I think you guys are going to get a lot of silence and a note to jump to whatever time. Or, you know, I'm going to cut it out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to keep up with me. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. If he's not going to walk too far away here. Bye!